babies in the nursery. They're aquatic micro nurlies. And let me tell you the story of how I got them. Hi boys and girls, Stories with Toys and Dolls here. I'm so excited today because I have something really cool to show you. I've been wanting to bring you guys these for a while now and I was finally able to get some. They are the micro nurlies. Nano. Gnoli, Pizca, Picolina, and Miruño. They're also from Neonatitlan, but they're an aquatic species. So it's very important to make sure that we have enough water for them. Since they're aquatic, I have this room designed specially for the micro -nurlies. As you can see, I have some clear water here to start the process. And I also have some slime here just in case because after they grow, we have to put them in a special machine and then we get them in a capsule where they come surrounded in slime. And I'm noticing that their drippity drop comes in different colors. I'm sure it's because the babies are all different colors as well. And now I'm going to put some hand sanitizer on to make sure that my hands are super clean before I start the process of growing them. Friends, we're going to grow the five of them today. Let's get the first baby going. Micro aquatic activator, check. Incubator bracelet, check. Clean water, check. And the box comes with this drippity drop that we'll need when the baby is ready. It also comes with these two bandages and these cute accessories that we can decorate the belly button with after it heals. I'll show you guys the incubator bracelet. And we can see the little baby in there. We're going to put some water in the incubator using the micro aquatic activator. Very carefully, I'm going to take off the star because this is where the water goes. Ooh, it's almost full! It's almost full! We have to make sure that it's completely full. I'm going to take out the air bubbles to fill it up more. Ooh, now it's completely full. Now to cover it with this star to make sure it doesn't leak. Third step is to put it on my wrist for five days so the baby can marinate. How exciting! I can't wait for the babies to be ready! Wow, it looks like it's already starting to grow. It looks bigger than it was. Now we're going to repeat the process with the other babies. Boys and girls, I love that the micro aquatic activator comes in different colors as well. Friends, now I just need to put away the drippity drop thingies. We won't need them until the babies are ready. And I'll also put away the accessories. And I'm keeping the micro aquatic activators because maybe I'll have to put more water throughout the next five days. Now it's time to wait five days to see who we get. Hi guys! Guess what? The babies are ready to be born! I wanted to show you how they look when they're fully grown. They're so much bigger, they take up the whole space. And since they're aquatic, I'm preparing an underwater playroom for them. I want them to be happy here, so I'm putting some fun stuff in here. Good news, guys, they're already born. Check out the empty incubators. For now, we're going to name them with their Spanish names because I don't think their English names have been released yet. 
but if I'm mistaken and you guys know their English names, tell me in the comments. And now, boys and girls, let's start taking out the babies from their capsules. I'm still going to have to practice their names because I don't know them that well yet. I think that this one is Nano. Wow! The capsule lights up! Oh, how awesome! Friends, I'm super excited to meet them. He's totally covered in slime. Oh, he's so cute. Welcome, little one. I'm going to clean him up very carefully. Oh, uh, his umbilical cord fell. And I'm going to try and save as much slime as I can here. Because that way, we have enough for next time they need to marinate again. They need to marinate every full moon. Here's Nano without slime. Here's his pacifier. And I was going to put this in his belly button, but I think it'll be better to lay him down in the crib and attach him to the super nutritious substance they come with. That way, he can be really comfortable while I take out his siblings. And we'll continue with... I think this one's Pisca? Friends, I'm going to have to confess something. I haven't had time to watch the video with Nurse Tanya teaching how to care for the babies. But I will definitely watch it, so I make sure I take good care of these little ones. I'm trying to take her out super carefully. They're newborns, so they're very delicate. They're a little smaller than the size of the regular Nurlies, but they're a lot bigger than the mini Nurly that Churro, Atole, and Susie King were playing with the other day. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave the link in the description box. The hair is made of a special material so that the slime doesn't stick to it. Hi, Pisca! How are you? For now, I'm putting them in these cribs, but later on, I'll make a special nursery for them. And now, it's Picolina's turn. Let's see her with the light. Friends, these micro nurlies are so cute! I'm going to try to find a better way to take them out. Maybe if I can get them to just slide out by themselves is better. Hi, little Picolina! Welcome! The slime is super sticky, and I'll take off her umbilical cord. And here's the third cutie, Picolina! I'll give her her pacifier. And the nutritious substance, so she can get a lot of nutrients and grow big and strong. Now we'll meet Gnoli. Something I like about these capsules is that not only do they have different lights, but the patterns change. Sometimes it goes really fast. And if we push the button, it goes a lot slower. And if we push it a third time, it goes even slower. Speaking of the button, I want to show you where it is. It's down here. Now, let's take out Nyoli because I want to meet her already. She reminds me of Nancy with the orange hair and purple skin. Slime bath! And I really like how easily Picolina came out of the slime, so I'll take Nyoli out the same way. Friends, I'd like you guys to meet Nyoli. I cleaned off all her slime and she's ready for her pacifier. And she's ready to lay down in her crib and get some nutrition from her drippity drop. Now we only have Mirunio left. Oh, Mirunio looks like he's very happy in there. I love turning these lights on. But now it's time to take him out so he can get to know his siblings. Slime! And I'm going to take him out with my new technique where I let him slide out by himself. Hi, Mirunio. Oh, he's so adorable. He reminds me of Barry Watts with the blue hair and the green skin. Boys and girls, here's Mirunio. And officially, all of them have been born. The pacifier, the nutritious substance, and I'm going to let them rest for a little bit while I finish their playroom over here. On this side, I'm going to put a princess castle. Ooh, it looks so pretty! On this side, SpongeBob's house, in case they want to pretend play their SpongeBob. 
Over here, some very colorful rocks. I think the gravel was supposed to go in first. Ooh, the Micro Nerly's playroom is coming out really nicely. I think they're going to like it in here. And like I've said before, I love everything that is translucent. So I'm going to add these beautiful transparent rocks. Look how beautiful these are. And I'm going to put them all over. But before I fill it with water, I'm going to put this filter on here. That way the water is always clean. And the babies are happier. Finally, we'll fill it with water. Now that it's been a while that the babies have been getting their strength from the super nutritious drippity drop, they can go and play. Picolina and Pisca love to pretend they're SpongeBob. Here's Nano. Wow, these babies know how to swim already at such a young age. They're definitely an aquatic type. <laughs> Nano likes the coral. He's going to go in there for a while. But Miruño likes the castle more. He's looking to see what he can find. Whee! I've never seen newborn babies that are so good at swimming. Friends, I think the micro nerlies are going to love this playroom. And now, I'll make them a nice watery nursery. Mommy! What is it, Susie King? Churro doesn't let us play with the fish. Okay, Susie King, let's go see what's going on. What's the matter, babies? It's just that Churro doesn't let us play with the colorful fishies. No, because Mommy said for us to wait for her and to not touch anything until she got here. That's right, babies. Churro is correct. Remember I said I was going to make a room for the micro nerlies first? Boys and girls, the thing is that the babies saw the aquatic playroom I made for the micro nerlies and they liked it so much that they asked me to buy them a fish tank. <laughs> so I bought them this one. Mommy, can you tell our friends from Stories with Toys and Dolls about the real fish? That if we can take good care of this toy fish tank, that you'll buy us a real fish tank? That's right, friends. What Churro said is true. And now to move the babies to their new room. Here I have some blankets. Ooh, a cardboard micro nerly. We have another one and it's the same color. I think the babies caught a little cold. I probably shouldn't have put them in the playroom so soon. I'm going to wrap them in these super warm blankets. Picolina, let me get her all settled down. Now it's Nano's turn. We'll put Nano here, very warm and cozy. And for the other three babies, I have these blankets. Pizca, Gnoli, and Miruño. Now they're all warm. Rock a binerly on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. Another super important thing is that we have to marinate them when it's a full moon. That means I have to put the babies back in the slime. So I made this calendar with all the full moons that we're going to get this year. And with all the names of the babies. Every time it's a full moon, I'll mark here as I marinate the babies. That way, I'll make sure that I got all of them. So I'll put this on their wall, and I'll also leave a link in the description in case you guys want to print it out for yourself and use it for your micro nerlies. And I'll put the slimes right here as well. Boys and girls, for now, this is the room for the micro nerlies. So I'm going to go to this room where I have all my home remedies for the babies. And I'm going to see what's best for a cold. Oh, this one. Babies, I'm here! Now we can start decorating the toy fish tank! Yay! First, I'll put the fish here. Oh, it's Nemo! Oh yeah, it looks a lot like Nemo from the movie. Ooh, here's a big one. 
a starfish. We'll put a shell down here. Some algae. More algae over here. A castle. Oh, I think the treasure chest is too big. I'll move the shell over here. I think we'll move Nemo as well. Over here. And we'll put the chest over here in the corner. And I'm going to show you two things that are very important. It's the fish food that we have to give the fish once a day, every day. And this is for when we want to clean the tank. And we take out the fish and put them in a temporary area when we clean the tank. And I'll put them on this table. Boys and girls, it's time to leave a comment, a like on the video, and if you haven't subscribed yet, go running to hit that subscribe button so you can get a notification every time I upload a new video and you can get here early and be one of the first ones to watch it.